you know, I wanted to be myself, be an individual, it was about me, and, uh, you know, he taught me that you ain't gonna get anywhere in life by yourself, uh, you know, and, and, and Iowa, there's an Iowa way that I, you know, it took me a while to, to understand and, and, and want to be a part of. And so once I figured that out, I think I, ha I started having success. I started gaining respect from him, uh, my coaches, and my teammates. And initially that wasn't the case, you know. Uh, and I didn't get it, I didn't understand it. And once I did get it, uh, you know, I started having more success on and off the field. And you were just talking about how, like, when you came in, you weren't necessarily being viewed as a leader or something that maybe kind of disappointed you. Is that something that you feel maybe motivated you when you go out there on the field, maybe wanting to try and do too much? No, I, I've never, I've never felt that I'm, I've tried to do too much. Um, you know, like you said, I was disappointed uh, that I wasn't looked at as a leader. You know, initially, um, I, I didn't understand why. But you know, through some of the, some of the uh, some of the things Coach taught me, and you know, Ricky would voice to me about, you know, hey, the, you know, you, you have to adapt to what we're trying to do, with what, what I was trying to do, the way. Uh, you know, not everywhere is like Iowa, uh, but if you want to be successful at Iowa, you have to adapt to the way, uh, you know, the Iowa program works. And so, once I figured that out, um, it took a while, um, and I started having success. Can I ask you about football? You know, <laughs> football. Remember that? Yeah. Remember that? Yeah. Uh, I asked Coach, uh, yeah, I asked Coach uh, Campbell um, what kind of receiver you are. What would you say? Game changer. Yeah. Dynamic. Uh, deep threat. Short game. Uh, anything you need. Um, you know, we were in East Lansing with two seconds left. And uh, I was going to ask about that. I wanted the ball. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that was a moment. You talk about a moment, having an opportunity. Uh -huh. I don't think there's ever been a time where I wanted the ball more. I mean, I was actually pissed off. I know you were. You know, but Everybody's seen the film. Marvin got it done. Yeah. And I was happy for him. I was glad we won the game. Uh, don't listen to Tyler either. Um, but I, I, that moment was like, this is, this is, this you can be remembered forever. You know, just like if I were to return that kick, kickoff uh, versus Iowa State. You know. You, yes. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. Like yeah. Moments like those where you know a guy who's hungry, who, who, who loves the game. Who, Strives for uh, you know, opportunity. Uh, you eat that up, and uh, like I said, it went to Marvin. The play call went to him. Uh, the coach knew what they were doing. Clearly, uh, it was all worked out. But you know, but you were open, right? I, wide open. I mean, it would have been way spectacular. It would have been unbelievable. No, but um, it's moments like those, those kind of opportunities, those you know, the, the crucial situations is is, uh, is 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 what I yearn for. Mm -hmm. that, that, that motivates, that, that gets me the most. I don't know why. Um, in the pressure situations, is, 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 is always drives me. And, and, and sometimes, you know, I'll fail, you know, but I want that pressure, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, I want mm -hmm. that target this year on mm -hmm. my back. I want those expectations, you know. That's why you play this game. That's you, you want to do something special, you know. Nobody wants to be a 6-6 six and six ball club mm -hmm. and go to the Alamo Bowl. Well, I know I don't. So, um, you know, you can, you can, you can, if, if you can't handle it, that pressure, or you, know, you don't like that target, you can always give it to me and I'll, I'll willingly accept it. Was there any bleeps in that huddle? <laughs> there's, there's definitely some bleeps. Was well, there? Yeah, right. I tried to go off to the side. <laughs> <laughs> but no, um, you know, like I said, Coach O'Keefe, I was brilliant, brilliant play call. Uh, mm -hmm. um, but you know, like I said, if it was up to me, it would have went to me, but Marvin surely got it done and, and, uh, in a great fashion. You, so. you, talk, you talked about being remembered. Uh, you still have a, you have a chance to be some you know to some records here to being remembered. To those I know that I know that's hanging there. I know it's something you Facebooked about a few times. Is it uh how much does it weigh on you? Is, and in the long run, I imagine you're going to give me the, the pat answer like, oh, they don't matter. They'll just come. No, they matter. I, <laughs> I need them. <laughs> really. Um, here's my thing. I you know I've never been really a full time starter. That's right. Uh, so I figure uh, if I can maintain, obtain a starting position and maintain it, I think those will take care of themselves. Yeah. yeah. You know, so the focus right now is to be the best receiver on the team, um, you know, have my teammates count me, have Ricky count on me, and, uh, you know, continue to make plays, make plays, and all that, you know, uh, those fine achievements uh, will take care of themselves.